Normally, a referendum battle doesn't begin until after enough signatures are gathered. That deadline isn't until September 17th. But this fight began the day after the council overrode the mayor's veto of the minimum wage ordinance, and there's been a steady drumbeat ever since. We're here to, to stand up and ask you, do not sign. Don't sign. Um, that's why we're here this morning. They are here at the Veterans here. Museum in Balboa Park to enlist veterans and others to join their effort at preventing this from going to the voters. I implore everyone not to sign this petition as it will take away sick days and the San Diego raids. And I'm here today to ask you, don't sign it. We're asking San Diegans to stand united and say no more divisive elections. No more referendums, no more living in the past. Let's do the right thing for our veterans. Let's do the right thing for San Diego. The Small Business Coalition is gathering the signatures to oppose the wage increase. And some of its members are veterans. Who employ people in this city, including uh, returning veterans. Uh, you know, this is nothing but a political um, stunt being orchestrated by the other side again to misinform uh, San Diegans and to divide the city. Proponents of the wage increase continually say the $2.50 increase will lift hundreds of thousands of San Diegans out of poverty. No one who works full time should have to live in poverty. These are people who fought for their country and they shouldn't have to live in poverty. That begs the question, will increasing the minimum wage from $9 an hour to $11.50 an hour really lift people out of poverty? This, this may not be where we would like it. We know that 1309 uh, is is where we need to be to really move them to, uh, to, to a, uh, a, an area out of poverty. You, you can increase it by any number you want if that's the solution to poverty. You know, what, what they fail to recognize is the minimum wage is not an individual's maximum wage. According to uh, Nathan Fletcher and Ed Harris, if you have a minimum wage job, that's the best you're ever going to do in your life, and so we have to artificially inflate wages. $13.09 an hour was the original wage set by Council President Todd Gloria, but uh, that was dropped to $11.50 as a compromise.